Hey guys, I'm just uploading Tuesday's vlog because I'm a slacker and didn't do it then. But I wanted to show you before I go out and work these um, LEDs that my dad's friend is lending me. Um, this one we need to get more batteries for, but this one's green. It's just, they're really bright, but um, the red one here can show you um, like that is like incredibly bright. Like at night I can stand here and maybe 20-30 feet away it'll completely light up that room when otherwise it would be pitch black. And like when I look into it it's like blinding for a few seconds like a really really bright flashlight which is partially good and partially bad. Like it's partially good to have them that bright but at the same time you know you don't want it to be too bright. So those will probably be in the uh, fog machine area like the barbecue shed. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to go out today and work and probably tear down, um, probably tear down the cheesy props I put up in the barbecue shack yesterday because I really hate them and they look like crap. And also, I'm going to start organizing and seeing if I have enough junk to pull something together on the driveway because the basic timeline of the hunt this year is we have this weekend and then Monday and Tuesday of next week and then Wednesday we're packing and Thursday we're flying to Alabama and we're spending a long weekend down there going to haunted houses down in Alabama we're going to um, Arx Mortis the first night in uh, it's like outside of Birmingham and then the second night we're in Atlanta at Folklore and of course Netherworld. And then the third night we're at Spooky Woods in North Carolina. And then um, the last night, which is Sunday, a week from this coming Sunday, we'll be at um, Disturbia and Arx Mortis. And I may see if there are any other ones like Sloss and stuff I know down there. Um, Sauce Furnace does stuff. Um, so is anyone's down in that area? Um, Please leave me a comment telling me if there's any other ones other than what I mentioned um, that would be reachable within a night. Um, the ones I listed are the ones I've heard the most about and really definitely am going to no matter what. But um, feel free to let me know and uh, I'll see. And yes, I will be filming as much as I can. I'll try to film more than I did on like the video last Friday where we went to haunts. I'll try and get a lot more than that for you guys um and then so once we're back from that trip we have that week and then that weekend and then it's one more week until Halloween and we open that Friday so we literally have two full weekends left and that's it to get this thing done so I'm gonna see if I can find stuff for the weekend after we get back from the trip to set up and oh, the the other thing is, um, my school student council, a guy came up to me and asked me, because he knew about the haunt, they want me to help them um, design a haunted house for our school, and we're going to have pretty much seven hours to set it up, and we're going to run it that Thursday night. Um, for some reason, we have an early release that Thursday, but we have no, we do have school that Friday. And then we have off that Monday, which is Halloween. But they're going to run a uh, Fall Fest or something that Thursday night. Um, it's not set in stone yet, but I think they're probably going to end up doing it. So we're going to have to build like a five minute walkthrough in seven hours. And um, like he's asking me because I know the most about it, which I think I know how I could do it with like black plastic and stuff and just giving rooms to different people to design. But um, Budget wise, time wise, it's going to be hard to pull off, but I think I can definitely, you know, manage it somehow. But, um, so, gosh, I've been walking around, the camera's, I bet the background's like going like crazy, sorry. Um, so that's the basic idea. I'll film that too if I can, um, but it'll be very busy, and I'm probably going to have to make props for that too. Um, so that's another thing on my plate. Um, 
this month, but you know, I love doing it, so it's all good. Um, so now I'm gonna go out and work, and I will show you guys what I do today. Hey guys, I haven't been filming worth crap, but I had these four two foot frames lying around that were just the two by threes underneath. So I took a bunch of just random scrap wood and um, just screwed them on there. I got the original, or I got this guy on here. I was going to try and make a road sign out of it that says Uncle Bub, and then um, then I decided it just looked like crap, so I took it back. It was unscrewed from its panel. Um, it's not on the frame it was originally on, but it's on a panel, so whatever. Um, so there's four of these. This one's kind of a bad example, this top one. Like, they all look kind of good, like the bottom one. Um, Colin is a... Homo. Yes, my friends are total dumbasses. And the bottom one, I'm not going to lift them up, but um, basically the same thing. These will be, um, hopefully, I will be able to do something in the driveway that will be up for literally five days. That's going to be almost as detailed as the haunt in the garage, and we would literally set it up the morning of opening night. Um, and take it down completely the day after we close, or the day after Halloween, November 1st. Um, if we can't do that this year, if that falls through, then these will just be panels for next year. But it's nice, it's something different. It's almost more fun than working in the haunt right now. Just, just what I want to do right now, so. And the knowledge that I still have to work on the ceiling panels is weighing heavy and is really annoying but I will eventually get the ceilings done in the haunt. Um, eventually. Maybe this weekend, hopefully. Hopefully. So, um, yeah. All right. Okay, here's one more of the like crappy looking panels. This one's a four foot. Um, looks pretty good. I'll definitely touch up the two just blank ones, especially that really light one and do some detailing on it, but I really like this one, like, this was all painted and it peeled off and looks all cool and crappy and stuff, um, so I don't know if I'll be able to do the thing in the driveway this year, but it would be nice if I could, um, either way, these will definitely go to great use next year, um, I'm tired of working in the garage, so, that's just, it is what it is for now. Okay, it's getting dark. Um, I didn't really do anything else. I just that four foot square thing is just a stack thing there. I just want to walk through what I have out here and what I could use if we were to do the extension. Um, I just want to walk through this before it gets dark. I would probably use these, even though they're cheesy, put them all in an outdoor section, like between the garage haunt and the, um, and what I would put in and like the building I would build on the driveway. Um, we have this. This has chicken wire on it. This is like a frame there. Um, we have two one foot frames, like a two and a half foot random sized frame. There's this thing. This is a ramp we did from like doing the jackass stunts. And this was just like a ramp that would go like this. But um, we would tip it up like this and put like a, a body on it or something. Um, there's two sheets of hardboard from the giant slip and slide. Um, more random scrap wood. These two pieces are going to the ceiling crasher. Um, there's wood here. I'll probably use this green side at some point. Because um, this is green here too. Or white with green distress from the greenhouse last year. Um, so, um... And here's a railing for the porch. There's part of the line. The other part of the line's in the side yard. Here, I'll go show the other part. But like the front porch railing for the house will be like the one in um, Tuesday's vlog. It's literally from our front porch. We had it torn out. So um, over here. So it's like this railing for the front porch. And then this back in here you barely can see is like the line thing. Oh. We have a section of it. We built it to keep dogs in. It's like this. Only longer. There's two longer sections. Um, 
<sighs> yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's about it out here at least um, for tonight, at least on camera. So yeah. Just want to give one last look at some of the cheesy stuff in here before I take at least some of it down. Like these little guys, they're not realistic. Like the plastic machete, yeah, it would be here. So that might stay, but these little things, there's no such thing as a monster that small. That guy, as cool as that would be if it were bigger, it's not cool so small. Like this thing, you know, it's plastic, it's glow in the dark, but I'm just going to leave that. So mainly just these little guys are coming down. Just want to give one last look. So, whoa, there's that. That. God dang, this camera is really out of focus. That, and then that are coming down. Okay, so I got all this, uh, all the crap taken off the walls there, 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 and there. I'm leaving like the fake weapons up, the fake machete, uh, cleaver, and the. Sickle or whatever it's called. Um, I really like this pig. With his bloody cut off waist and someone's pants on the table, which might be his. But yeah, I think it's cool. Um, gonna be a cool room. I also cut this flap off, but this flap is still there. Um, I think I kind of like it. Um, and this thing obviously is getting left here. Um, let me go out front and show you. Um, this room is dark. Oh. Let me show you like what we would do. We would have a temporary walls that come out here and even attach to the futon that comes out here. One of them. So only this one would have to get taken down and that would probably just be like a sheet or something to cover that up. They would walk down a front porch here and then hang a right. There would be a ledge here going like eight feet and it would be a three foot wide pathway and there would be a guy with a circular saw on the other five feet of it. They would go into here. This is just like an event tent that would have um, hanging sheets, bloody sheets that they would have to weave around. And then um, they would go back out this way and the exit they would have to be on the same side of the railing as the psycho with the uh, circular saw who could totally mess with them while they're in the sheets. And I think it would be a great climax. And before they got to even the front porch railing, there would be like an outdoor section here that would have like those crappy scarecrows I showed you. Um, uh, my stepmom said she was cool with it and thought it was good and it would be like literally up and down within five days. Um, up on Friday, we're running Friday night, Saturday night, we're off on Sunday, running Monday night, and it would be down by Tuesday. Um, I still haven't talked to my dad, but she said there wouldn't be any problems, but um, I'm not the one in charge around here, so I have to listen to what they tell me to do. But it seems like that would work, but um, just need to make sure. And either way, we got a bunch more cool panels for next year that would replace like some of the black or white ones so that's good so mm -hmm. okay um that's probably gonna do it for tonight um kinda tired I wanna go in and watch TV and I feel like I got a lot done cause there's like six panels in the backyard now whoa and this is really kinda cool looking um so I'll probably be working tomorrow after school um see what I get done, whether I work in the back or in here, but I do have enough materials pretty much right now to do that extra haunt in the driveway. So if I needed to, I could not spend any money from here on out and would be pretty much just fine. Could be a little better with some money, but um, I pretty much have all I need at this point. So that's good. Um, good to know. Um, so yeah, I am heading in, so uh, later guys.